Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Rihanna and this is War Positive Book. I make bookish videos over here on my little corner of the internet. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. Today we are reacting to a two-year-old book haul and yeeting some books out of here if I haven't read them. I have a series I've been doing all year. I'll leave a playlist up above, but essentially I watch a two-year-old book haul. If I haven't read the books, but I still own them, then I have 30 days to read them or then I have to unhaul them. I had originally thought about just making this a one-year series and like ending it in December, but <laughs> you guys really like these videos. So I think we're probably gonna continue on with them. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just continue on. We'll go into 2022. But that being said, let's talk about how I did last month. I am filming this a little bit early. It's like a week before Halloween. Um, so let's talk about it. I did finish The Shadows by Alex North. I actually added this to my choose your own adventure maze vlog I'll link up above this was one of the options that you could choose from if you thought I would like it better if you haven't gone and checked out that video I worked very very hard on it and uh, you should go give it some love <laughs> and then I am about a hundred pages into A Curse and Ash so I'm hoping to finish this one up so that being said I'm not gonna unhaul any books I'm in the middle of this one so I'm not gonna unhaul it um, I'm hoping to finish it by the end of the month we'll see what happens I still have a lot of books that I need to get done for content and things like that um, so I'm gonna try to get this one done by Halloween but we'll see we'll, just, we'll see not having an audiobook really makes things difficult it's time to look at November 2021's book haul it's titled a reasonable question mark book haul I don't know if that's being sarcastic or not so let's just see We'll just see. It's, it's short. It's relatively short. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna and this is for a pause in a book. I make book and lifestyle related content. So if that's God, the light is in, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are going to bad light today and I don't know how to, I don't know how to fix that. So I apologize. I'm filming way earlier in the morning than I normally do. Uh, so here you get what you get. I think the sun is like the sun, like the sunrise is happening like right, right off camera. So, apologize for that. I have a small book haul. I was trying to be like relatively okay, it's small. controlled we'll when see. it came to book buying this month because the, like, A, Christmas is happening. Like, I don't want to like overwhelm myself. And then, um, like, I was doing NetGalley November, so most of the books that I was reading were not on my physical TBR, meaning that they're not gonna like take down my number. I ended up with I think six books that will add to my TBR tackle. That's not bad. I six books. Three books that were we'll already see. on my TBR. Um, my physical TBR. We'll see how many? How well I did. Prior to November, so might read a fourth. I don't know that I'll get to it though. So. Okay, the first one is On Location by Sarah Smith. I read this. This was my worst book of 2021. I hated this book so much. It was, I mean, as you can see, I was, I had a bookmark in it. Like I was actively reading it, but I did read it and I hated it. And I don't ever want to read something from this author ever again. This was the second time I had tried to read from this author. It didn't work. Okay, then I picked up a book. Actually, I picked it up. Um, at the thrift store because of my like um, blind blind date with a book I was looking at like some relatively like good looking books then I noticed that this one actually like, after I bought it I noticed that this one has a little bit of a bend in the cover so I'm not gonna sell it and then I was like actually this sounds really good I might keep it <laughs> So this is The Starter Wife by Nina Lauren. I unhauled this one, I think earlier this year. Like it did last quite a while, um, but I just don't wanna read domestic thrillers anymore. Um, they have to have something like really intriguing to me and this one didn't. It There was, I think this was very similar to the premise of Too Good To Be True, which was also just kind of a mid book for me. Um, so yeah, I unhauled this. I finally picked up a Colleen Hoover book because I've never read one and they, they're all over the place. They're all over book talk. So I picked up It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I read this one. I did the video project. Um, what was it like? Can I trust book talk or something like that where I read a Colleen Hoover book. Um, the book was fine. The author is problematic. I've read I think three Colleen Hoovers now at this point. I read two last year for the Goodreads Choice Awards. I don't think I'm going to read any more Colleen Hoover. But I did read this one. So that's good. 
this next book is pretty out of my comfort zone. It's like more literary women's fiction. Oh boy. Um, but I've had it on my radar for a really long time and then I saw it at Barnes and Noble for really cheap. So that's The Queen of Hearts by Kemery Martin. Oh, no, I did read this one. I actually really liked this one. Um, this is kind of like Grey's Anatomy um, or The Resident or like, you know, all those like medical dramas. It's very much like that in that kind of vein. Um, I have two other, no, one other book. I only have one other book from her that I haven't read but I really liked this one. I may have like read this one immediately after like in December. I know I read it in a December. I just don't know if it was just like 2021 or 2022. I honestly, I think it was 2021. I think I read this like almost immediately after. One that is not going to be added on, um, a book that I purchased after reading it and that is Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. I read this as an ARC um, and then purchased the physical copy because the cover is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't have it anymore. And I didn't end up continuing on with the series. Um, I think I only give this book like maybe three and a half or four stars, if I remember correctly. The next book I picked up was In the Quick by Katie Hope Day. I also read this one. I also hated this one. I read this one last August when I was trying to do 33 books in 31 days or something like that because I was returning 33. And it was a short book. Uh, and it was bad. It was not good. Not, not great, not great. It's kind of like literary sci-fi, um, but like if you didn't tell me it was about astronauts, I wouldn't have even known uh, because like, there was a, like sh they were brushing their teeth normally. First off, I don't care. Like I don't care that you're brushing your teeth unless you're doing it in a weird spacey way. And they weren't, which first off is just scientifically doesn't make any sense. Then lastly, I have my book of the month books. So I have two books this month. I got The Keeper of Night by Kevin Lee Baker. I unhauled this book and here's the reason. Uh, it is YA fantasy, but I've heard good things about it. So like that's not necessarily the reason why I unhauled it. The reason I unhauled it is there is a sequel to it. I think it might even be a trilogy, but only the first one got picked up by book of the month. And beyond that, YA fantasies when they come in normal hardback are shorter than book of the month. So this book wouldn't have matched. So I unhauled it when the sequel was announced because I didn't know that it had a sequel. That's the reason, but I haven't picked it up. Um, like I haven't read it or anything like that. Let me know, is it a good book if you've read it? And then the last one was Will, obviously by Will Smith. Well, we ended on one that I needed to read because I haven't read that one yet. So let me go grab it. This is Will by Will Smith. Um, this is his like biography, I think. Anyway, along the way, Will tells the story of the full, in full of one of the most amazing rides through the world of music and film anyone has ever had. There are like pictures, which I think is cool um, in this book. So anyway, I guess this is what we're reading in November. Good news is this is a book of the month book and um, I get bonus points or like it fits additional prompts for the Get a Clue Readathon if I read a book of the month book. So I should be able to fit it in like after I finish room prompts next month. Okay, so that was the end of the haul. Um, so we only have one book, which is great uh, because I have a lot of books I need to read this month. So um, this is not thin by any stretch of the imagination. I probably will pick up the audiobook. I think Will Smith um, narrates it. So yeah, but anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, I am worried about what the Christmas haul is for next month because this was, 2021 was the first year that Barnes & Noble did their 50% off hardcovers. Um, so I went a little cuckoo, um, that month or that, um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. We'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you're new here and you have not yet subscribed, there's a little button that you can do so down below the video. If you'd like to hang out with me more, the links to my Instagram, Goodreads, Twitter, and my Patreon are linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.